What's up, Thanix Athletes? It's Chris Heria. Today I'm going to be showing you six advanced exercises that people never attempt to learn because they think they're way too difficult to ever achieve. But today I'm going to show you how you can train these advanced exercises right now from any fitness level. Now, in calisthenics, you'll come across some advanced, very difficult exercises that will require an extreme amount of strength and body control. For example, full planche push ups front lever pull-ups, hafesto, and even muscle-ups. And when you're just starting to learn these exercises, it can feel pretty much impossible to perform them. And truthfully, it may even take years to unlock some of these skills. But the only way you'll ever be able to do them is if you start training for them. And the best way to start is training in a progressional state, starting off with the first easiest progression to perform for that exercise, learning the correct form and building your foundation along the way to eventually work yourself up to harder and harder progressions. And as progressions help build your strength to be able to do that exercise, the best way to understand the movement and have your muscles simulate the correct movement path of the exercise before you have the strength and capabilities to actually perform Form it is going to be doing the movement with the help of a resistance band. We're going to be able to place our bodies in the exact angles and positions that are required for these advanced exercises, allowing you to work the muscles exactly how they should be. Developing the proper form and control as you build your strength through the progressions, which is going to have you excel your progress and have you achieving these movements twice as fast. And eventually you'll get stronger and be able to reduce the amount of resistance from the resistance band, working your way down from a thicker band to a thinner band, eventually not using a band at all. So we're going to get right into these exercises and you want to make sure before we start that you're picking the right band for each exercise. Each exercise is going to require a different level of assistance depending on where your strengths and weaknesses are. So choose a band that's going to challenge you but allow you to perform the exercise with perfect form. We really want to simulate the exact movement of each exercise to really develop that muscle memory. And if you need resistance bands to get started, you can go ahead and pick them up at thenx.com shop. We're going to be doing each exercise for five reps. So if you feel like you can do more of that with a particular band, try reducing to a lighter band to where it challenges you to reach that fifth rep. So if you have your bands, let's get started with the first exercise, full planche push-ups. Now full planche push-ups is one of the most advanced upper body pushing exercises. It requires you to balance, control, and lift your entire body weight. So for this exercise, we'll be hanging our resistance band to elevate our feet off the ground. We're gonna put it around, put it through. You wanna get them at your ankles, and then we're gonna assume the full planche position. Remember, you wanna have your entire body straight, arms straight, locked out, and you wanna bring your palms by your waistline. All right, there we have full planche pushes. The goal is to use the resistance band the least amount as possible. When you're doing this exercise, you wanna pretend as if you're not using the band at all. Trying to engage your muscles and simulating the proper movement that it would take to do the actual full planche push-up. When you're just starting off, make sure you record yourself when you're doing your repetitions. You wanna be constantly checking your form and making sure it's perfect for this really to be effective. Eventually training this with the proper progressions, you'll be able to build up your strength and be doing full planche push-ups in no time. Now moving on to the next advanced exercise, we have Hephaestos. For this exercise, I'll be using a thicker band with more resistance. All right, now just like full planche push-ups are the ultimate pushing exercise for your upper body, the Hefesto is the ultimate pulling exercise for your upper body. With Hefestos, you're gonna have to control and lift your entire body weight from behind you. Now when you're just starting training with this exercise and using a resistance band, you wanna start off on a low bar before you bring it up to a pull-up bar. So we're gonna be starting on the side of a dip bar. Let's go ahead and get up. We're gonna hold our resistance band over our lap. Give it a nice tension on both sides and squeeze our hands onto the bar. From here, we're gonna slip off, keep a nice concave in our body and our elbows back. Now you can get your arms all the way down, all the way back up. There we have the Hefesto, and you can see when you put the resistance band over your body, when you come down, it catches your weight and allows you to perform this exercise, do more repetitions, and gain the benefits that the Hefesto has to offer. 
All right, now we're moving on to the next exercise. That's gonna be impossible dips. Pretty much the hardest exercise when it comes to triceps. So to use the resistance band for this exercise, we're gonna place it on top of the dip bar, hold on tight with your hands, and we're gonna go ahead and jump over the band. Now here you wanna have your arms locked out. We're gonna lower as slow and controlled as we can. All right, now for this exercise, we're only gonna be using our triceps to lower our bodies down. And the way we're gonna do that is to lean back throughout this exercise to really put all your body weight onto your triceps and to make sure that you're not being helped by leaning forward or assisted by any other muscles. If you feel like you need to lean forward to achieve this exercise, that may mean that you need to get a thicker band and that's gonna give you more assistance when doing it. All right, there we have impossible dips and without the resistance band, an exercise that definitely feels impossible. This is a very difficult exercise, but if you're looking for a move that's gonna build your triceps and create extreme strength, it's gonna transfer over into other parts of your training, you definitely wanna be doing impossible dips. All right, next exercise we're gonna be getting into is front lever pull-ups. Now, just like the full planche push-ups, the front lever pull-ups are very similar. Instead of pushing from our waistline, we're gonna be pulling from our waistline. This is another very difficult pulling exercise that will give you a strong muscle connection and insane pulling strength that will transfer over into other training styles. So for this exercise, we'll be using a low bar again, the side of the dip bar. And when you're doing this exercise, make sure that you remain in a front lever position with a straight line in your body from your feet to your shoulders. And the best way to maintain that is to make sure that you're pushing your hips up through your belly button. And to be able to remain in this flat position while doing front lever pull-ups, you have to be pulling from your waistline, not from your chest or any other angle. It'll also help if you have a slight overgrip on the bar versus grabbing the bar right underneath. So let's start by placing the band around our hips, getting a nice grip on the bar, coming down to front lever position. All right, there we have the front lever pull-ups. A very difficult exercise, but you can always start with a thicker band, eventually build the strength and work your way down to a lighter and lighter resistance band, eventually not needing the assistance of one at all. All right, now moving on to the next advanced exercise I have for you guys. That's gonna be the one arm pull-up. One of my favorite exercises for developing strength in each arm individually. You're gonna need to pull your entire body weight up with just a single limb. Now let me show you guys how we're gonna do that with the resistance band. We're gonna start by hanging our resistance band, put it through the loop, I'll place our feet inside. Now when I grab it, I like to grab it right on top of the resistance band or a little bit over. That way your body isn't twisting around. If you grab it on this side, your body's gonna wanna sway this way. So you wanna make sure to grab it right on top of your center weight. There we have one arm pull-ups. Now there's another way to do this one. Let me show you guys. If you take the resistance band and you put it around, you can use this hand now as assistance to complete some repetitions. But the way I first showed you is the way to simulate the actual movement of a one-arm pull-up. That's gonna get you closer to achieving your one-arm pull-up without the band. Now moving on to the last exercise, we have the muscle-ups. I'll be using a lighter band. All right, now not only is this one of the best ways to get used to the muscle-up, but this is also one of the best ways to increase your muscle-up repetitions. A lot of times, what I do is I max out as many weighted muscle-ups as I can, then I max out as many body weight muscle-ups, and then when I can't do any more body weight muscle-ups, instead of just giving up and waiting to recover, I keep that time under tension and I go straight into resistance band muscle ups. Let's go flip. All right, there we have the muscle up with the resistance band. 
If you've never done a muscle up before, this is gonna give you the first feeling of what it would feel like to do one. Something that have made once seemed impossible, now you're able to do them and receive the benefits from them. Progressions to an exercise are always gonna help you build the strength to eventually get there, but if you wanna feel the feeling of the move and start simulating your body in that position to start already learning the form and training your muscles the correct way to excel your progress, then you need to start using a resistance band. And remember, even when you can already do these exercises, you should still be doing them with the resistance band to be able to work past fatigue and add in those extra reps that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to or can even be used to correct your form and that's how you're gonna make real progress and real gains and stop watching people do this and actually start doing it yourself not just looking strong anymore actually becoming strong getting the best shape of your life and that's gonna cut it for today's video if you enjoyed the video or learned something new definitely smash that like button make sure to comment down below let me know what you want the next video to be about and share this video with a friend that's trying to take their training to the next level and if you haven't already definitely make sure that you subscribe to the channel we post every single sunday 8 p.m usa eastern time and if you comment within 30 minutes of any upload you always have a chance to win some free thenx gear if you're looking for more of my content during the week make sure you're following my vlog channel that's youtube.com slash chris i post every single thursday at 2 p.m usa eastern time also make sure you're following me on ig almost every single post i always do some type of giveaway so if you want a chance to be a part of that make sure you're following and remember to get this workout on your phone and full access to all our workout programs getting in the best shape of your life make sure you sign up to thenx.com and become a member. Get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna have you shredded. Make sure to download the Thenx app in the App Store to take our workout programs with you everywhere and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world getting the best shape of their lives today. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the music on the channel, these are all the songs to my brand new album I just dropped called Workout Music. Go ahead and follow me on SoundCloud to get full access to all my tracks. Remember to put my album on the next time you're training for that extra workout motivation. And with that said, I'll see you guys next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.